Greetings everyone, I hope you are well. My name is Nick in the command chair here and we're looking at CJ in the USA on the Spectrum 128K. This was published by Codemasters in 1991 and it's sort of like the sequel to uh, CJ's Elephant Antics which came out the same year, 91 also. Game also came out on the Commodore 64. It's a platformer where you control CJ the elephant and apparently his whole family has been kidnapped. Why would you kidnap a whole family of elephants? I don't know. And he must journey to the USA to rescue them. So look out for elephants and, and then you bump into them. The game is over four levels. Uh, here we are firing peanuts out of our trunk, which elephants tend to do. Um, I'll have a go first of all without cheating, then we'll put a poke on for immunity. But the game looks very, very similar to the first game. Um, yeah, it's using the same engine really. It's pretty identical. Now, one of the criticisms of the first game, although it had great sound and great colour, was um, the scrolling it tried to keep the elephant in the center of the screen most of the time it's uh it's yeah it's a bit jarring but not to the point of jarring um scrolling like as boulder dash but um it stops the, the flip screen it tries to scroll uh with you so anyway let's rescue elephants as you, you as uh, yeah as all those other games rescuing elephants so you know it's exactly the same as CJ's Elephant Antics, but it's different levels. So if you like the first game, you'll probably like the second one as well. But a little bit, little bit of a cheeky game. Come out the same year. I think Codemasters knew what they were doing here. I'll try and get off the first level, but it could be a sprawling level. Some of the graphics are also identical. CJ's identical. That magenta spike strip there you can see um, is identical as well. So they've even used the same graphics. Well, have that said and done, it, it exudes quality. Uh, again, I would imagine it would have got great ratings back in the day, but a game for 1991, very late in the ZX Spectrum's run. I think many of us were playing 16-bit six -bit games by that point. Not 6-bit, that would have been silly. 16-bit. So I don't know where I'm going here, which might be evident. Now, when CJ falls a certain distance, he can use an umbrella to uh, cushion his fall. That's automatic. And you can collect bombs as well. The spikes will kill you if you haven't got a cheat on. Hmm. Now, there was supposed to be a third game after this called CJ in Space, but I don't think it ever got released. Correct me if I'm wrong. If there is a, a version out there, tell me. But I, I guess if there is, they've used the same engine again. Hmm. So I'm getting quite far actually in this exploration sort of game. Um, if you had this back in the day and completed it, let me know was your fan or is this the first time you've seen it? A little bit of colour clash. Um, well, he goes see through, doesn't he, CJ? As he goes past certain things, but uh, very few games you get to control a jumping elephant. Jumping Jack Elephant is the gas, gas, gas. Um, you know, so these weren't ivory poachers that kidnapped his family. Each family just got kidnapped. There's no story why they've been kidnapped. Pop, Pop goes to CJ. They've just kidnapped the, the elephants. Mm. Go in and rescue all the other elephants. So I don't know who the rest of his family are. Probably Dumbo and um, I can't think of another elephant. Stampy out the Simpsons. Let's uh, try that one, one episode. So 1991, I think I might have been playing Lotus Esprit Turbo Challenge by then on the Commodore Amiga. Hmm. I know that's not a platformer, but the two the two don't really compare, do they, really? If this has come out in 1986, it uh, would have got lots and lots of plays, but 1991, mm, So you can only look at it with your, your, your retro goggles on, and um, is it good on 8-bit? Yeah, it's coded really well. It's just, um, lots of people will like it. It's just the way it scrolls again is, is, is annoying it for me, but it's nice and cute. The music is quite lovely in terms of 128k goes. It's a, it's a good game in that respect and I can see a lot of people liking it. But not really my cup of tea. CJ in the USA. Now I've mentioned cup of tea, I want one. Can you can you get me a cup of tea from somewhere? Mm. CJ. Not to get confused of course, as I said before, of CJ out of um, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Get in the car CJ. Before I thought, I thought he said he was in Grand Theft Auto 4 but it was San Andreas wasn't it really? Yeah, Grand Theft Auto 4 was that Russian go guy, and uh, Bilich Nikov, oh yeah, had the same name as me, similarly. Right, da 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 Come on, elephant face. Mm, pop. How many lives have we got left there? It's up in the top there, I think we've got one life left. Right, so I'm getting quite far. Uh, the first game you was going across the world, there's Eiffel Tower and various other places um, to get to. Uh, they've, that cloud thing firing at me, that's exactly the same as the first game. So that's identical, that is very naughty. 
pop goes the elephant. Right, I will put a poke in now for immunity. We'll see how far we can get. But I think we've pretty much seen what this game has to offer already, really, hasn't we? So if you've got emulation or the real machine, you know whether to track this down. I would say give it a miss unless you want to own every 128k game ever. In that case, um, get both the CJs. CJ Elephant Antics, CJ in the USA. Which one's better out the two? They're probably both level, to be fair. Level design is similar. Can't really separate it. Even that um, that split screen there, um, that effect as we go in, the same. The scrolling at the start, although it's pulling to the right. I think the first game pulled to the left. So, you know, it's pretty much the muchness. There's bombs to collect as well. When you kill the enemy, they turn into bits of food, which I think you can use to um, redo your strength. As you can see, I just walked through that dog, uh, and it didn't kill me whatsoever. Hooray! In this game, a dog's the same size as an elephant. What sort of a world are they living in? Where every animal's the same sort of size. But it's unique, this. They haven't gone for a, a man um, just jumping from level to level. Like Hen House Harry on Chucky Egg, which is a better game. Uh, Jet Set Willy Manic Miner. Or um, Maca Mick the Mechanic. Is that in... Um, or to Technician Ted Turbo. That's a game I was sort of like thinking of with Mick the Mechanic in. We're controlling an elephant. Yeah. And why not? Why not? Uh, Monty Mole, of course, was an animal. Um, trying to think of some other animals you controlled. Can't think of any. I bet there's loads. I bet I've reviewed loads as well. Dan Dare, he was human. Yeah, we've reviewed quite a lot of platformers. Brian Bloodaxe. If you're new to the channel, have a look at the uh, spe reviewed Spectrum games. There's a lot in there to keep you going. So if you want a bit of a binge watch, show them some love. That'll keep you going for quite some time. There's a big, big catalogue on the channel now. We've been going quite some time, quite a few years. But there's still hundreds and hundreds of games to have a look at. I've only recently heard about these CJ ones. Right, red. They, at least the um, at least the is see-through. I think they, it, we could clash in badly if it wasn't. Oh no, where are we going now? I'm gonna land on that thing with the glasses on. Don't fall in the water. Don't think we can get out of there, we fell through. Yeah, so, you know, it's quite good level design, really, I would say. Um, if they did a homebrew remake on this and one of the platform designers or it came out on the next, I imagine it might be quite a bit smoother and uh, I might be getting more enjoyment from it. But I very much doubt anyone's going to re remake the CJ series. Uh, Codemasters, are probably, they probably wouldn't allow it, would they, CJ, uh, Codemasters? Not sure. Right. Yeah, that's very naughty how they've just um, uplifted that, that cloud graphic um, from, the, from the other game. But you know, am I being a bit too critical? There's Jet Set Willy 2 I like, which is virtually the same Jet Set Willy 1, but they just added a few rooms. It is a series, it's not like a completely different uh, game, like Prison Riot and then Joe Blade, which is the same sort of thing, so they're not, they're not fooling anyone that it's a, a different game. So you know, fair enough, fair enough then, fair play, fair play. Right, let's get on that ledge there. Can I get on that ledge? Right, away we go. Don't mess up. It's elephant time. If you are an elephant, comment below. They always say be wary of the elephant in the room. I think there's an elephant in my room I certainly would notice. Especially when they, um, um, they went to the toilet. Anyway, I'm sure they're very clean animals. Right, come on Nick. Let's get across here. We don't want to fall the way down to the bottom because that could be extremely annoying. Have to work all our way back up to the top. Yeah, each one of those lightning bolts that are bumping into us, because clouds typically hate elephants, uh, would have been killing us by now. Yeah, you where oh no. Where were you in the elephant cloud wars? Did you were you fighting for the elephants or were you fighting for the clouds? Now see look, that's annoying now. So now I've got to do it all over again. Get all the way up the top again. I think I know, that would try a lot of kids' patience. But they might have gone for the reset and maybe reloaded loaded something else a bit more knowable, like a commando or attic attack by now. Their mum would be calling them for dinner, and they'd say, right, I've just, uh, just got to get off this level. But if it's this game, they'd probably come down and eat their corned beef hash, or fish fingers and chips, or whatever um, culinary delight was waiting for them. Right. Unless it was a Brussels sprout sandwich, then you'd probably be playing this a little bit longer. I can't come, I can't come at the moment, but your Brussels sprouts are getting cold. Oh yeah, well, um, yeah, feed them to the dog or something. And then you get a clip round the ear. Right, where's that ledge? We need that ledge to come. The sister sledge ledge. Come on, ledge. How many bits of lightning have bumped into me so far? Even got a million lives. That cloud must be... Why don't that cloud give up? He knows I've got immunity on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Give it up, cloud. I mean, 
Also, I want to shoot that cloud, but he just keeps hovering about, um, you know, about a sprite too high each time. I don't think you can kill him. Unless, um, unless it's something to do with those bombs we collect. We've got ten bombs, I think. Maybe we let one of those off and it'll kill him. That's what we should do. We haven't been letting our bombs off. Hmm. Don't let your bombs off. Well, unless uh, it's a bath bomb. That's, that could work. Right. So don't mess up this time, Nicky. Like you did last time. Just stay on there. Just swallow it along. And then get off this moving ledge powered by I don't know what. I mean, what is power on this ledge? We don't know. They're in many, many games. I do like the graphics of that elephant. Well done, CJ. I don't know what CJ stands for. They're letters. They must stand for it. something. Um, I can't. Circus Jumbo, perhaps. I don't know. Right, so. Not much of a ledge to aim for here. There's a dog there on the ledge. I don't know who's left them there, but they should call the RSPCA. But I, I've shot him, so we don't call the RSPCA. I might get in trouble. But I don't know. I don't know what the RSPCA stand uh, stand on on other animals killing up other animals, like an elephant killing a dog. I don't know what their stand is on that. If a human did it, well, that's bad news. If an elephant did it, well, uh, mm, what the rules? Right, where am I going with this? Both in conversation and the game. Right, so up here. I haven't seen any elephants yet. Have, have, you, have you seen any elephants hiding about the place? You might have seen some. I, my, my eye's a bit off the, uh, off the screen um, while I'm talking at the same time. Sometimes there's stuff I just don't notice. Uh, and then I'm watching it back afterwards before I upload it. I think, oh, Nick, you missed that and you missed that and you missed that other thing. And oh, well, at least, you're, at least you were mildly entertaining. Hooray! That's what it's all about here. Easing stress, not perfect gameplay. Um, showing you the games that you may or may not have heard of and trying to escape everyday life for a little bit. Uh, we do that in the live streams as well, so it's more like live interaction then and I can answer your questions. So if you haven't joined in one of those so far, have a look at those. At the time recording, we seem to be doing a Monday and Tuesday for about a couple of hours if, uh, if internet speed holds up. So they're good. Uh, it's a good group of you watching those, so thank you. Uh, I'll be nothing without you there, so of course I'll be broadcasting to myself. And you're quite a knowledgeable bunch. Quite often I see a conversation going. It's more community, really. Quite often I'll see a conversation going between all you lot, and I'll, uh, I'll read that as it goes down. That's quite nice to see as well. Do do do. It's all about bringing people together. Right, and being a big elephant, I suppose. Um, let's go. Well, this is a small elephant, isn't it? We've deduced that already because there's such a the same size as that that dog thing. Uh, I'm sure this is the correct way to go. When you've uh, captured, uh, well, rescued all the elephants, I'd imagine the game sort of like ends. There's a police chief there. Don't know. What, right. Okay. Now, normally those um those spiky things we saw would kill us. We might cheat and just land on them here. Yeah, okay. When you die, you're invincible for a short space of time, so if that did kill you originally, you could just jump off that before the, uh, the time run out of dying. Where do we go now? There's two ducks. Let's go Let's go down this one. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, we'll go the far one. They're, they're bound to put the entrance down the far one. I bet that's the wrong one. Uh... Oh, look, there's spikes down the bottom of that one. So we should... Oh, the spikes down the bottom of this one as well. Oh, dear, normally I would have died. Well, I think we'll leave that there. It normally would be game over without my Im immunity and no one's going to rescue him. So I hope you'd like to have a look at that one. That was CJ in the USA, published by Comos in 1991. I think they could have offered a bit more beyond the first game. But it's a good game. Uh, if you like the first one, you'll like the second one. So it delivers in all those quarters. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro or anything about elephants, then please put that below. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.